my friend Leopoldo Aguirre brought to my attention the fact that the print nightmare vulnerability, as you can see in this report created by this gentleman, Stan Heck, can be exploited even after patch. Notice that if you go here on the flow, it has seen this patch, this is the main controller, and you have you enabled pre-2000 compatibility, which a lot of companies do, then the exploits work. If you had point and print no warning, then this stuff will work. If you have enabled Lua, this is the user access control notifying you when, when you the computer, when the program also make changes to the computer. Uh, if you have to turn off, then the exploit works. So more than ever, it is very important for you to have rules in QReader that detect this type of attack. And for that, Gladys Kosak, Koskas has created this blog in which she shares two rules that can help you detect two aspects of this type of attack. She even mentioned that this you need to try this because some of these things may give you some false positives, so you may need to investigate this, but apparently she tried this and they, they seem to, to be working well. Uh, important thing is that you need to have Sysmon, and, and I have done many videos that show how you actually enable Sysmon, it's a great technology. Uh, to get the logs that will enable these rules to fire and also you need to have some custom properties added and there's a link in her blog that shows you how you can get those from the app exchange and here you can actually see quite simply how you can apply how you can put this test condition on to, on your rule this is rule number one and this is actually rule number two that will detect actually that an exploit uh, took place. So, well, more than ever, let's make sure that you have rules like this one or you take this one and make them the base for what you actually want to have. But it's more than ever important uh, to, to detect this vulnerability that again can be exploited even after patch if some of those conditions that I show in the beginning are present. And thank you Paulo for sharing this with me.